The devastating typhoon that hit the Philippines last week is a grim sign that global warming is real, says Rachel Kite, vice president for sustainable development at the World Bank. This is not going to be a one-off event. The intensity and frequency of storms as a result of climate change is very clear from the, from the climate science and the evidence and is something that many countries will have to prepare for. The World Bank is co-author of a report called On Thin Ice. Its focus is the snow and ice-covered regions of the world, where temperatures are rising at more than twice the global rate. We're seeing uh, catastrophic change potentially in these regions. Um, you know, if the uh, ice uh, of the Himalayas disappears, there are billions of people who depend on that ice cap for water and for livelihoods. The report documents steps to curb global warming by reducing black carbon or soot from open cooking fires and diesel engines and methane from farms and landfills. These short-lived pollutants dissipate quickly compared to heat-trapping carbon dioxide, which stays in the atmosphere for millennia. But Kite says soot and methane speed up warming and soot affects human health. Six million people today um, die every year from outdoor and indoor air pollution. So if we were to change cooking methods, if we were to clean up uh, emissions from um, old cars and from diesel engines, uh, we could save six million lives and we could slow the rate at which climate change is coming. Scientists agree that the planet is heading for a two degrees Celsius warming above pre-industrial times by 2020 a threshold that raises the risk of more severe weather and rising seas. Kite says negotiators at the climate talks in Warsaw should take note. While we negotiate and while we deal with the really difficult political economy of who is going to agree to do what, there are so many things that we can be doing that are affordable, that are achievable, and that if they happen and we start to see the change, they will build confidence. Kite is encouraged by a growing coalition that includes the United States, Arctic nations, and quickly industrializing African countries, working to address short-term climate pollutants. The World Bank and the International Cryosphere Climate Initiative will present their findings at the UN climate meeting that runs through November 22nd. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington. And devastation as information trickles in agonizingly slow manner because